It ain't the left side or the right side, then it must be the fifth side. Inside. It ain't the left side. Thank you, Solo D. Welcome to another episode of On the Fin Side. Here with Brian Cat, Captain Zero, and Paul Pick. And you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, and on YouTube. We are recapping the Dolphins' seventh round pick, an interesting guy, wide receiver Isaiah Ford. A lot of people who watch college football on Saturdays are probably very familiar with him. Set records at, at Virginia Tech, school records for catches, yards, and touchdowns. Paul, a little surprised to see him still there in the seventh round? Completely, and and I was very happy to see. I know we talked a little bit about Miami going wide receiver when we did a, did some of our previous mock-ups, and we had looked at a couple of different guys. I know one of the guys I had pointed at was Amba Edatawo out of Syracuse, but I didn't expect Isaiah Ford to be available as late as he was. So the fact that he was available in the fifth, that he was available in the sixth, and Miami was able to steal him in the seventh, I absolutely love it. He's a crisp route runner. He's a guy that, that's able to vary his speeds up a little bit to de- deceive defensive backs. Most of the time, he's able to get off the press, even though he doesn't quite have the build yet if the defensive back's able to get into him on a press route. So he needs to he needs to bulk up a little bit here. But he's a guy that can do a lot of things and find some sneaky ways to get open. And even when he doesn't, he's able to make those difficult catches and has great body control to come down with that ball and keep the feet in. So there's a lot to like with this kid. He's a guy that could unseat somebody for a role on this team. 210 catches, almost 3,000 yards, and 24 touchdowns at Virginia Tech. Set school records and even left school a year early, too. So you bet. And and I'll tell you this, Paul, without question, if Isaiah Ford runs a 4-4-5 and not a 4-6-1, he's going in – at least the third round of the draft here. And and I think that's to the Dolphins' benefit here because he plays faster than a 4-6-1. I mean, I've seen him him run away from people. I've seen him run past people at Virginia Tech. You know, it was was a rough day for Virginia Tech, period, in, in day three. Bucky Hodges falls to the sixth round. Gerard Evans, who came out early, just like Hodges and Ford, ended up going undrafted. So not a good day for for the Hokies on day three. But yeah, with with Isaiah Ford, I I think when you look at the depth chart now, he he has an opportunity to challenge uh, Leonte Carew and and Jakeem Grant who were taken in the third and sixth round last year for those roster spots. And and I I think, you know, the Dolphins would consider keeping six wide receivers on the roster, even if they add somebody else along the way too. Yeah, I do too. And, And like you said, I'm glad you pointed it out. I don't care that he ran a 4.61. You watch him play, and he plays faster, and the way he's able to change up his speed and, and really be deceptive and hide what he's doing while running a good route is a beautiful thing that helps make that appear even faster for the guy. He's a guy that's going to get open. He's going to get past people and really could challenge to not only make the roster but to find a role on this team. I see him being a guy that could step into a role a little quicker than, than Leonte Carew is, but Carew's a guy I like as well, even though he didn't show it last year. So there's a lot to see with this kid, and I'm I'm excited to see what we get here. Yeah, absolutely. And and two other players to keep an eye on that were signed for the Dolphins as undrafted free agents, who I actually did expect to be drafted. Uh, Stanford wide receiver Francis Awuzo and Mississippi's Demontre Stringfellow. These are two players I did think were going to get drafted. Uh, Awuzo comes from that Stanford family who's produced several NFL players. Uh, one was Chris Uso, who, who caught a few touchdowns from Andrew Luck last year, excuse me, two years ago. String, Stringfell got in a little bit of trouble, wasn't invited to the Combine because of a domestic dispute from years earlier. But these are two physically talented players, so it should be an interesting battle at the wide receiver position with these youngsters at the bottom of the depth chart. Paul, that will do it for our recap of Isaiah Ford in the seventh round of the NFL draft for the Miami Dolphins out of Virginia Tech. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, and on YouTube. And if it's not on the right side and it's not on the left side, it is on the fence side. So, D, take us home. It ain't the left side or the right side, and it must be the fence side. It ain't the left side or the right side, and it must be the fence left. Listen, Dolphins fans across the land all tuning in to see what Brian Cat.